Previously on Greek. Your final projects were all so good that we need more time to thoroughly evaluate each one. As a result, we'll announce the winner next semester. Enjoy your crickets, losers. You may guys prank us? The old crickets down the chimney gag. I poured my heart out to you at the end of the world party and you didn't come after me. Oh, you know. What you guys need is a common enemy. We get our houses to team up against him, bond over our hatred for Huck together. Guys, we can't hold this forever! They need our help up there. Run, Cap. No, 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 no! <laughs> Plan this? Yes. We left you guys holding the cart and we called the police. I had to do it to get my house back. And your solution was to get three of my brothers expelled. Yeah, I could really use a friend right now. The judges' scores are in. The winner of this year's song fest is Gamma Sun. The judges gave us 95, 95, 99, and a zero. He also gave the Gamma size a 100. We have a proof. Rebecca, did you know how to blow out that candle? We, the sisters of Zeta Beta Zeta, promise never to tell anyone what happened tonight. I'm telling you, the hole has to be deeper or it'll come up after the first rainfall. Please say you learned that from the scary movie. Okay. Would you stop eating? Oh, I can't. Guys, once we're done here, we can put this behind us forever. There, there. Hey, Fitzy. It's good to be back, right? Gotta love spring, fresh start, wipe the state clean. Yeah. And with all of the stress of burning down the Gamma Sci house, I couldn't eat over winter break, so I look fantastic. <laughs> we, we don't know it was us. So. Hi, Laura. <laughs> uh, is Brightford in here? The Gamma Sci house used to block the sun this time of day. We should get used to this brightness. That's what it'll be like when they interrogate us. Did you tell anyone what we did? I didn't tell anyone, A, because we don't know we did anything, and B, we have a pact. The pact. Cappy, where are you? I wanted to get a jump on the semester and buy my books. Really? You do know that comic books don't count, right? Ha uh ha. -huh. Were you mad at me? No, I just thought you'd be here for a romantic I haven't seen you in three weeks' place. Get your duties? No thanks. You are so full of... I'm so... These are for you. Thank you. Oh. Um, oh, oh. My God. oh. Welcome back, Ace. Hi. Hi. Mm. Hey, I'm home. Hello. Excuse me. Uh, who are you guys? Hey, look who's back. See you for my interns. That's Todd and Tim. Uh, actually, I'm Tim. Oh, darn it, I keep doing that. <laughs> you have interns? Yeah, yeah, they're freshmen who got in touch with me after the break. Apparently they were dazzled by my project and my performance at the BattleBot competition and wanted to be part of Team Kettlewell. Word gets around, huh? Well, you know, what can I say? They think I'm going to win the Gary Wyatt Grand. 40 G's is a big chunk of cheese. When do you think we'll hear? Well, it could be today, it could be next month. All the officials said was this semester. Uh, just meet Lil' Smoley. Want me to throw it out? Or we could take it to the lab, determine its genus. Go crazy, fellas. <laughs> hey, well, I gotta get going to the KT house. Hey, Rusty, wait. Um, are we okay? I mean, no, no hard feelings or anything? Yeah, we're fine. It's just three of my KT brothers got expelled last semester. Really? Cappy didn't mention that in his Christmas newsletter. We did have a fantastic date nut bar recipe. So, I gotta go. My house needs me. So, who wants to learn the chemical compound of dust bunnies? All right, come on. Semester. Wait, why am I peppier than you? Are you worried about the fire like everyone else here? Uh, oh. No, I wasn't until you just mentioned it. Sorry. What's wrong? Well, Fisher and I broke up. Wait, what, what, when? When we talked at Christmas, everything was great. Well, it just didn't work out. Ooh, flowers! Wait, do you want to talk about it? Ooh, flowers. Where are they from? Cappy. And our front yard. <laughs> Same old Cappy. Or not. Cappy and I talked constantly over break. He even called to wish me a happy Boxing Day, whatever that is. Um, I really think it's going to work out this time. Well, then I do too. It's an exciting way to start out the new semester. You have a boyfriend, I am single, we're arsonists. We really need to stop saying that. We don't know we're responsible, which is good because if we were, we'd be totally screwed. Hi. Hey, hi. You girls seem nervous and guilty. We were just talking about the fire. Oh, that. You're not nervous? 
You were the one that lit the candle. We don't know if that's what caused the fire. Why would I be nervous? When we were leaving the Gavasai house, I noticed how tacky the wallpaper was, which made me think this house blows, which reminded me to tell Ashley to blow out the candle. Who wants to hit the bookstore? You did not. Well, okay, wait, let's not keep pointing fingers at each other. Says the woman whose idea it was to go over there in the first place. Okay, you managed to remember that correctly. Fine, I will talk to Catherine and find out how the investigation's going. We'll find out that we're not to blame and we can go on with our lives. So for now, can we just relax and stay calm? Maybe we should have a wake for a wait. Help us get over the loss. What about Jeremy and Farrah? They're gone too. And he. Because wake for Wade's faster to say. And it's alliteration. Close. We should do something to moralize the guys. Or we could just slaughter Evan Chambers and the Omega Kai's. That would perk us up. In due time, Beef. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you think you're doing, Pledge? I was going to sit down. Yeah, but Wade's out there. Oh, sorry. Uh, 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 Wade's out there too. I think Wade probably sat everywhere in the house. Then it looks like he's standing. We should choose a replacement for Wade as Pledge Educator. You know, maybe we don't need a Pledge Educator this year. Why don't we just initiate all of them? That way we don't have to worry about it. Jeremy loved initiation, especially the secret knock. Ma'am. I could be Pledge Educator. No offense, he's bitter, but you're no Wade. No, but I am me. I feel terrible. I wasn't there the night Wade the guys got busted. Come on, give me a chance. All right, fine. Oh, by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you Pledge Educator. History of pornography. Yeah, hey, come on. I need this graduate. It's the douchebags. Guess the Cold War with the KT house is over because of that prank. Now it's just open hostility. The boyfriend was involved, too. And he was so, but he wasn't president. Listen. I didn't mean for those guys to get expelled, but I had to do something and get control of the house back. You get that, right? Yeah, I do. Just wish that it hadn't happened the way it did. But I guess the silver lining is that Grant finally feels good enough for the daughters that he's ready to come out to the house. Well, yeah, he decided to tell his family over the holidays. So now we're going to come out to the house and finally have a normal relationship. Congratulations, man. Yeah. yeah so what, what, what should we do for that? You want to have like a, like a brunch or... No, I, I think Loki is better. You know, I don't want to make a big deal of it. But it's good to know you're in my corner for sure. Absolutely. Uh -oh, I forgot Byzantine architecture. I'd rather have your class. Hey. Hey. Well, see you around. Yeah. Okay, so we'll have the chapter meeting in the ping pong room of my dorm, but we have to be out by 8 o'clock because it's reserved for a pizza pow wow. Okay, bye. Hi, Casey. How are you? Good. How's it going? Just fantastic. The university here put me in this dorm room without Wi-Fi, skateboarding stickers on my bed, and a roommate who rages all night and sleeps all day. <laughs> oh, Angie, it is 4 o'clock p.m. Shut up, Mom. So I know you're here about Songfest. And despite the fact that my clipboard and all worldly possessions are nothing but a pile of smoldering ash, I am still looking into the situation. Well, actually, I came here to see how you were doing and to tell you how very, very sorry I am about the fire. Oh, well, that is very thoughtful of you, Casey. Did they find out how it happened? Faulty wiring, oily rags? No, they are still investigating. Still? Seriously? I mean, that's got to be hard for you. Well, in the meantime, Panhellenic and IFC are organizing a help us rebuild our castle fairy tale fundraiser ball at the Canyon Lake Lodge, so I really hope we can count on ZBZ to be there and give us support. Anything to help the gamma size? Great. Hey, guys. Kindergarten teacher used to do that. I'm a new pledge educator. So if someone could tell me where Wade left off, uh, maybe, yeah, marbles. <laughs> <laughs> okay, any other questions? Oh, Anthony Hopkins. Can you teach us how to uh, make a stink bomb for Omega Kai? <laughs> uh, well, actually, my job is to teach you about KT history and how to steer you through your pledge. So, uh, it's my job. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, hey guys, guys, I'd appreciate it if I could just get a little ounce of attention. There you go. Hey, how about we find out what the chalice means on the Capitao crest? Go through the lessons better. 
They listen now, won't they? Won't they? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so first order of business, we are all going to go to the Gamasaya Fairy Tale Vault. So we can dress up and be reminded of how we burn their house down? We don't know that. They're still investigating. Besides, fairy tales are such crap. Sleeping Beauty was based on a story about a girl who was violated in her sleep and then ended up pregnant. There's nothing sweet about that. Um, Ashley. Um, hello, fireman. Sir, how can we help you here at DBZ? I'm going to all the houses to drop off fire safety pamphlets in light of what happened at Gamma Psi. Oh, so you guys are done with the investigation? Yes, and we've determined the fire was started accidentally by a candle. Look, I'm sure there are lots of candles in that house, like in a bathroom or the kitchen. There were, but the one that started the fire was in the common room. Jasmine, I believe. Ah. You ladies really have to be careful about these kinds of things. Have a good night. We burnt down a house, but he called it an accident. Ashley, you're off the hook. Casey, what do we do? Uh, no one knows we were there, and no one's broken the pact, so we're going to have to go to that ball. What's up, Pam? Abby, can I talk to you? Oh, you know what? Could we do it later? I'm meeting your sister for costume shopping, and if I'm late, she'll make me go to this ball as Elisa tried to dwarf, which I happen to think is sneezy, so... Well, hey, why'd you tell me to babysit me? I... I just want to make sure you didn't get eaten alive. Our pledges are cuddly, but they are also vicious. Okay, well, they won't listen to me if they don't think I'm in charge. And I cannot be in charge when you don't let me. I need to do this my way. And what exactly is your way? Thinking about getting a whistle. Add some orange slices, and you got yourself a youth soccer team. Come on. All right, fine. No more beaver. Hey, welcome back. I missed you. I missed you, too. You put the picture up. Yeah, it seemed appropriate. And there's another photo op coming up. There's this fairy tale ball for Gamma Psi, and I was thinking we could go as Tweedledee and Tweedledum. People always thought they were a gay couple in fairy tale in anyway, right? Um, about that, uh, I didn't exactly come out to my family when I was home. You said, uh, I, I wanted to, but there was always a visitor, and the game was on, and uh, I don't know, but it just wasn't the right time. So I guess there's probably never going to be a right time to tell the guys either, huh? I'm just not ready yet. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, that doesn't need to change anything between us, though, right? Kind of changed everything. We've been together three months. And what, we're just supposed to wait another three months? I'm not gonna force you to do anything you're not ready to do, but I can't stay in a relationship that has to be a secret. Oh, what does that mean? It means that as much as it kills me, I think it's over. I go as the big bad wolf, and you can go as the grandma. Um, the whole reason sororities throw parties is so girls can look hot and slutty, not old. All right, well, how about I go as the, uh, the wolf who blows down the three little pigs' houses? Or, in honor of Gamma's size, is there a version where he burns the houses to the ground? Yeah, I don't think so. You know, are we sure we want to go to this thing? I mean, who wants to sit around and listen to people talk about a fire all night? <laughs> You're right. You know, I'm just going to go with the girls, and I'll meet up with you later. That's not what I meant. I'll go. I'll totally go. Is everything okay? Um. With us, I mean? Totally, yeah, it's all good. Good. Honestly, I feel bad for him. Can you imagine what it would be like if your house burned down? <laughs> you know what, I need some, some air, so. Oh my god! Oh god, um. <laughs> Actually, that's the devil. <laughs> yeah. My bad. You know what? I really like this one. Um, I'm gonna go pay. You're studying in classes I haven't even started yet? I'm reading about ways to inspire young minds in hopes of becoming the new KT Pledge educator since your house got our last one expelled. Oh, hey, I had nothing to do with that. I know, but that Grant did. I don't get why you're with that guy. Yeah, well, that's actually why I'm here. 
I was wondering if I could, you know, crash here until another room in the house opened up. You guys broke up? Uh, well, you should say we were driving on different sides of the same street. So, can I stay here? Yeah, of course. You know, maybe it's for the best. I never liked that, Grant. Yeah, Russ, uh, thanks for having my back and all, but too soon. Hey, I think there's this gay guy in my engineering program. Do you want me to get his number? Absolutely not. yesterday it was a little weird it was a lot <laughs> so what i really wanted to say then was thank you for being there for me you know that night you needed a friend and i needed what you brought to the table <laughs> true um but you know i just want to make sure we're cool because i'm like the first time we hooked up we're friends now so i would say having sex makes you better friends mm -hmm. so yes we're cool excuse me mm, careful there's a lot of pixie dust and taffeta around here um, are you gonna go to the ball? I guess, but it's all a bunch of nonsense. Mm -hmm. Did you know the real reason Rapunzel got stuck in a tower is because her father tried to sell her for food? That sucks. Finally, someone who sees it the way I do. So, let's just take it all in. Good. Tell me what your first impressions of Wade's room are. Anthony Hopkins. Smells like dirty sheets. And bong water. That's good. I'd like to praise you for your positive attributes and thank you for your contributions. Hey, what are you guys doing in here? Why aren't you meeting in the basement? We're bonding as a unit by brainstorming on a way to honor Wade and the other guys. So we came up to Wade's room to soak up his essence. Maybe I can help. I think I've got it, but thank you for your offer. What I would focus on is how much fun you guys had when you were with Wade. I think we're having a pretty good time right now, so. Did you know that once when I was having a bad day, Wade shaved his eyebrows just to make me smile. I mean, you won't find someone like that every day. True, but all sorts of things can make this guy smile. Shh. What else, Cap? Oh, oh, oh. No! Okay, show's over. Let's clean it up. It's just a bunch of beer bottles. From a trip Wade made around the world. The world of beer. So we're just gonna keep them up here forever? You know what? Everybody out. From now on, keep your meetings in the basement. Wade's room is off limits. Cap, let's go, Spitter. Suck. Yeah, I almost destroyed a costume shop. I told Kathy it's because I had too much coffee, but I don't know how long I can keep the secret from him. I want to tell him about the fire. You can't, but keeping the secret is creating all this weirdness between us. Casey, you started this pact. You can't start telling people. Especially Kathy. He's the kind of guy you go to if you want to start a fire. I don't think that you can trust him with something this major. That's a little unfair. Okay, fine, never mind. First the flowers, now this. Suddenly you're down on Kathy. I know you're in this blush of rekindled love, but you can't count on him. What happens when you guys break up again? When? I told you, it's not like freshman year. Why are you being so cynical, Ash? I'm being realistic. I know in your mind it's going to last forever, but I've been watching this dance between you and Cappy for years. Will they, won't they? I just don't think that you should share this with someone you're probably not even going to end up with. Hey, invite the lady in. Don't just stare at her. Hey. My apologies, Casey. My interns are scientifically adept, but socially inept. Of course you have interns. Case, what's up? I need advice about something. Is that a deal with Cappy and his attitude lately? He's probably being weird with you because of me. So, remember when you were eight and you took apart the TV because you wanted to see what it looked like on the inside, but when you put it back together, we stopped getting Channel 5? And you covered for me. You said Channel 5 went out of business. Mom totally bought it. Then why did you wake her up in the middle of the night and tell her the truth? I don't know. I guess I didn't want to keep something like that from her. But what she didn't know wouldn't have hurt her. But it would have messed up our relationship. We performed magic together. It would have been totally awkward. <laughs> you mean more awkward than calling mom your lovely assistant? Hey, maybe you can help me with something. I can't seem to get my pledges in line. But the sorority world is totally different. We just give them presents. I can't see puffy paint making an impact on dump truck. Cookies are up. Take a few to go, Case. <laughs> They're so well trained. How did you make them do that? Confidence. I know I'm the best, therefore they know I'm the best.
Where you been? Uh, I've been thinking about staying at Rusty's. Just until the other room in the house opens up. You don't need to move out. We can divide the room in two and put a piece of tape down the middle. And since your bed's by the door, I'll come in and out the window. Probably not a good idea. I made you a copy. Just to remind you how much I care. Grant, I know you do. I just wish you cared more about me than about what everybody else thinks. It's not that simple. Maybe I'm not ready for my life to change. I can't just close the door on who I've always been. And I wish you could see it as opening a door to something more real. Listen up, you numb nutses. Uh, who the hell is this guy? I'm your worst nightmare. Eyes forward! Who said you could eat? Now, it's my understanding that y'all been taking advantage of Mr. Cartwright. So let me make something very clear to you. If you think I'm scary, you have no idea what this man is capable of. So it would behoove you to start doing what he says. Do I make myself clear? Do I? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Now we're ready to work. Whoa, whoa. Nobody said anything about any pagan sacrifices. It's weights. Just brought it for backup in case your weight didn't work. No, it's just used for effect. Now we're really going to get some work. Oh. <laughs> My toe! That's effective, all right. Nice twinkle lights, although this did take you longer than I expected and someone needs a staple gun. My boyfriend was supposed to help me. He's late. By 45 minutes. I should never rely on a man for anything other than procreation. My mother told me that. I hope this event raises a lot of money for your house. Yeah, I'm just having a little hard time feeling festive. Because we found out that someone was in the Gamma Psy house before the fire started. Ah, uh, how do you know? Well, we lit a ritual candle before song fest and the last Gamma Psy out of the house blew out the candle. I mean, maybe she's just saying that she she did because she feels bad. Burning down a house can make you feel pretty guilty, I imagine. No, I know she did because it was me. I was the last person to leave the house. I know that that candle was out. Hey, sorry I'm late. Oh, I'm Casey's boyfriend, Cappy. President of Capitao, right. Casey, remember my mother's advice. My, she's tall. Yeah, I, I gotta go, Cap. I thought we were hanging lights. Yeah, 45 minutes ago. It's already done. I'm sorry, there was just this thing at the house. Apparently, your brother could not handle cutlery. But you could have called. Look, I'm sorry. It's just that things have been kind of rough at the house lately. Rusty said you haven't been yourself. What's going on? Stuff, you know. Stuff. Why can't you just tell me when something's bothering you? Why? Because you tell me when something's bothering you? Things have been awkward between us ever since you came back from break. I've been really busy. You know, you don't have to come tonight if you don't want to. I will go if you want me to go. Come if you want or not. I'm sorry, I just, I have to get back to the house. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the hottest of them all? Still me. Hey, evil queen, you're standing on my hair. Okay, um, we've got a problem. The Gamma Psy's know someone was in the house. They had a candle lit in the common room before they left, but Catherine blew it out. What do we do? I can't go to jail. I am not going to be someone's bitch. Relax, Rapunzel. If there's anything I learned from shedding documents for my dad when I was a kid, is that if they can't link you to the crime, you won't do the time. Rebecca's right. They can't trace us back to the house because they don't have any evidence that we were ever there. Yeah, sounds good, Case. Um, one question. Is it bad that I still have Catherine's clipboard? You what? Why didn't you get rid of it? Because it's proof we got cheated at a song fest. Yeah, it's also proof that we were there the night the house burned down. I call top bunk in our cell. <sighs> Ashley, fire, trumps, voter fraud. I'll just keep it in my dresser. So when they show up with a search warrant, they'll find it and we can all go to jail? Don't you watch Criminal Minds? <sighs> I'll put it in the dumpster outside. Trash is one of the first places that the cops look. Hello, law and order. Then I will keep it in the trunk of my car. What if you get in an accident? They can get our DNA from a single drop of sweat. Scrubs. Okay, girls, on our way to the ball, we'll put it someplace no one will ever find it, and then we will be done with it. We're good. I look sharp, dumb truck. You've got big shoes to fill. Wade and I were the maverick and goose of the Allied forces. Right, I'm going right. Why aren't you guys dressed for the ball? What good is a Pied Piper without his rats? Hey, Kathy, do you want to come with us? Uh, I'm not sure your sister wants me there. Yeah, she mentioned things were weird. She did? You know what? It's not my business. Hey, come on, guys. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, before the impaler cuts off another one of our toes. Uh, you guys don't have to worry about that. I hid the cleaver, all right? We can't afford to lose any more appendages. Too bad we can't bail on dressing up as rats. If you guys don't want to go, you don't have to go. Sweet. <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, they're my pledges. Look, Spitter. 
You've given your all to these guys, but you just don't have them under control the way Wade did. Maybe I would if you'd support me a little. I've supported you. Oh, really? Sending Beaver to babysit me? Interrupting my meetings? You're hiding Wade's cleaver? You're undermining me. You just can't take Wade's cleaver and expect to be as good a pledge educator as he was. Okay, I'm not trying to be Wade. I'm trying to be me. I took this job because I love Capital and I wanted the pledges to feel the same way. You know what? Maybe I'm not the right guy to be pledge educator, but they deserve more than what you're giving them. Wade's gone. Playing video games, blowing off Greek events isn't the way to bring him back. Would you stop eating? Oh, I can't. Guys. Once this is done, we'll put this behind us forever. Nature creeps me out. Let's get out of here. Um, we came in this way. No, we came in this way. I remember stepping over a log at some point. It's the weakest big bad wolf I've ever seen. And you're wearing a cape. Oh, by the way, I think I can move you in the market. Oh, so I can go from one closet gay guy to another? No thanks. Can we talk? So I've been thinking about what you said, and you were right. I was too concerned about what other people think. But I'm more concerned about losing you. You can't have it both ways. I know. That's why I was wondering if you would like to dance. Here? Um, there's no one dancing. So who better to get it started than two hot princes? You sure ready for this? Yeah. I felt so hard for you. There's nothing that I can't do. Oh, what are they doing? They're dancing. They say that you With each other? Learn from well, they're your brothers. Get out there and support them. But you gave do you want to dance with girls? Yes. No other way. And you. Stay for a while. Brilliant idea to try to navigate by the stars, Rebecca. Well, at least I know a line wears a belt and not a scarf. Rapunzel, can we try to be nice to each other? At least until we get to the lodge. No one even knows we're out here. Unless Casey told Cappy. I didn't tell Cappy anything, okay? And it's probably for the best. What's that mean? You said it yourself. I can't tell him about this. I have to be realistic. If something's going on with him and he won't tell me about it. Okay, I need to tell you something. There's a reason it didn't work out with Fisher. Oh, he cheated on me again. What? I went to go visit him for New Year's where I met his family and his friends, and then I met his other girlfriend. You deserve so much better. That son of a bitch. I am so sorry, oh, Ash. I just feel stupid. We should burn down his house. <laughs> so I just don't think that I was in the right place to be giving you advice. Just because Fisher's a jerk doesn't mean that you can't count on Cappy. But stuff's going to keep coming up. Hopefully not accidental arson, but things happen in life. We can't share things. What are we to each other? Your Highness, I feared you'd been eaten by a dragon, or, you know, just gone the dobblers. Uh, the girls and I had to do something first. 
Let's go talk. Look, I know something's been bugging you and you feel like you can't tell me about it. I've been preoccupied myself and it took your brother, of all people, to make me realize it. Wade's gone and I was responsible. I trusted Evan and got screwed. And I keep pretending that everything's the same, but it's not. And that sucks. But the only thing that makes this okay is that I have you to talk to about it. So I'm sorry if I seem distant or... I burned down the gamma's my house. What? After Songfest, we went over there to find Catherine's clipboard, but it was dark, so Rebecca lit a jasmine candle, and then Hot Fireman confirmed it was us. We got away with it until Ashley kept the clipboard, and you can't put it in your trunk because of scrubs, so we buried it. And I lost my tiara. Oh, my God. I know. I know. I know. I know. Oh, just... there, there, oh. my little fire starter. It's not funny. I'm wearing tights. I think I know funny. Look, I know it may seem like the biggest deal in the world right now, but it was an accident, and someday... It'll just be a really good story. I'm sorry about Wade and the guys. You know it's not your fault. It's Evans. And you know the game was size will be fine. It was like 100 bucks in that wishing well. Well, 99.25, I had to get quarters for the laundry. Don't tell anybody. You stole from the wishing well? I'm not the one who burned down their house, little lady. <laughs> you know, I thought when we got back together, everything would somehow become magically easy. Happily ever after. That is so boring. This is much better. Costume you have. Better to ask you to dance with. Really? No, there's too many Cinderellas out there. We'll shake things up. <laughs> Most of my fairy tales, they set up false expectations. In the originals, Prince Charming didn't always sweep you off your feet. So unreal. With love, the only time that ever works is in the movies. Yeah, what's so great about Prince Charming, anyway? I'm gonna write a new fairy tale where the evil queen and the big bad wolf come to town, wreak havoc, and bite off into the sunset. Sounds like a classic. <laughs> turns into a pumpkin. Later. I know I'm not supposed to be in Wade's room, but don't worry about it. I took things out on you when I should have just listened to Nora Jones and had a good cry, so I'm sorry. Thanks. What's the box for? Well, I thought I'd start getting over it by cleaning out Wade's room. I don't think I'll need the box. Wow. When did you guys do all this? We've been working on it all night. It's been a real bonding experience for the pledge class. Well, how'd you get them to do it? I think seeing me yell at you really made an impression on them. And slicing off one of their toes, probably. They got the road done, didn't they? Why, is that Ferret's hair pick? Are there any of his hairs on it? Spitter, could we clone him? Nice. Oh, and Jeremy's eyeliner. You know, his eyeliner is his legacy. I wonder what mine will be. <laughs> Marbles. Excuse me. Well, that's something to be proud of. Hey, my stethoscope. Hey! Hey! What are you doing here? Well, um, I was so bummed about all the guys getting expelled that I bombed every single one of my finals. And now, they're not letting me graduate until next semester. The doctor is in! That's loud. It's good to see you. You know I'm wearing your boxers? <laughs> I think that's going to happen um, quite a bit. 
So it's our uh, first day out. You think it's a little too soon to maybe take our shower together? Mm. I guess not. Um, what's that? Well, I think it's a joke. I don't think it's funny. <laughs> well, welcome to the other side of the closet. Hey, Evan. Yeah? Do you know who did this? <laughs> Tiara's it's clever. It's not clever. Well, if you want, I can find out who did it. No. This is for us to deal with. It's not a joke, then you and I will handle it. Together. I had to tell them the meeting was over. I just can't get enough of me. That's great. I'm glad I was able to help, man. You know, it's like I tell my interns. When you've been blessed with innate leadership skills, it's your duty to share them. Hello, this is the Gary Wyatt Foundation calling. After weeks of careful consideration, we have the final results from the Innovation and Engineering Grant Competition. Hey, I didn't even answer all right. Russ, I want you to know I'm going to take you with me all the way to the top. We'd like to congratulate... Russell Cartwright on being this year's Innovation and <laughs> Engineering Grant recipient. Dale. <clears throat> well done, Rusty. Looks like you really dazzled them after all. Excuse me. Previously on Greek. Your final projects were all so good that we need more time to thoroughly evaluate each one. As a result, we'll announce the winner next semester. Enjoy your crickets, losers. You make guys prank us? The old crickets down the chimney gag. I poured my heart out to you at the end of the world party, and you didn't come after me. But I'm here now. What you guys need is a common enemy. We get our houses to team up against him, bond over our hatred for Huck together. Guys, we can't hold this forever! I need our help up there. Run, Cap. No, 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 no! Plan this? Yes. We left you guys holding the cart and we called the police. I had to do it to get my house back. And your solution was to get three of my brothers expelled. Yeah, I could really use a friend right now. The judges' scores are in. The winner of this year's song fest is Gamma Sun! The judges gave us 95, 95, 99, and a zero. He also gave the Gamma size a 100. We have a proof. Rebecca, did you remember to blow out that candle? We, the sisters of Zeta Beta Zeta, promise never to tell anyone what happened tonight. I'm telling you, the hole has to be deeper or it'll come up after the first rainfall. Please say you learned that from a scary movie. Okay. Would you stop eating? Oh, I can't. Guys, once we're done here, we can put this behind us forever. It's good to be back, right? Gotta love spring, fresh start, wipe the state clean. Yeah, and with all of the stress of burning down the Gamma Sai house, I couldn't eat over winter break, so I look fantastic. <sighs> but we don't know it was us, so... Hi, Laura! Hi. Uh, is it bright for interest? The Gamma Sai house used to block the sun this time of day. We should get used to this brightness. That's what it'll be like when they interrogate us. Did you tell anyone what you did? I didn't tell anyone, A, because we don't know we did anything, and B, we have a pact. The pact. Cappy, where are you? I wanted to get a jump on the semester and buy my books. Really? You do know that comic books don't count, right? Ha uh ha. -huh. Were you mad at me? No, I just thought you'd be here for a romantic I haven't seen you in three weeks place. Get your cuties? No thanks. You are so full of... Gosh, I'm so. These are for you. Thank you. Oh. 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 Welcome back, Ace. Hi. Hi. <laughs> hey, I'm home. Hello. Excuse me. Uh, who are you guys? Hey, look who's back. 
So you've got my interns, that's Todd and Tim. Actually, I'm Tim. Oh, darn it, I keep doing that. <laughs> you have interns? Yeah, yeah, they're freshmen who got in touch with me after the break. Apparently they were dazzled by my project and my performance at the BattleBot competition and wanted to be part of Team Kettlewell. Word gets around, huh? Well, you know, what can I say? They think I'm a Linda Gary Wyatt grant. 40 G's is a big chunk of cheese. What do you think we'll hear? Well, it could be today, could be next month. All the officials said was this semester. Uh, just meet little Smoley. Want me to throw it out? Or we could take it to the lab, determine its genus. Go crazy, fellas. <laughs> Hey, well, I gotta get going to the KT house. Hey, Rusty, wait. Um, are we okay? I mean, no, no hard feelings or anything? Yeah, we're fine. It's just three of my KT brothers got expelled last semester. Really? Cappy didn't mention that in his Christmas newsletter. We did have a fantastic date nut bar recipe. So, I gotta go. My house needs me. So, who wants to learn the chemical compound of dust bunnies? All right, come on. Wait, why am I peppier than you? Are you worried about the fire like everyone else here? Oh, uh, um, no, I wasn't until you just mentioned it. Sorry. What's wrong? Well, Fisher and I broke up. Wait, what, what, when? When we talked at Christmas, everything was great. Well, it just didn't work out. Ooh, flowers. Wait, do you want to talk about it? Ooh, flowers. Where are they from? Cappy. And our front yard. <laughs> Same old Cappy. Or not. Cappy and I talked constantly over break. He even called to wish me a happy Boxing Day, whatever that is. Um, I really think it's going to work out this time. Well, then I do too. It's an exciting way to start out the new semester. You have a boyfriend, I am single, we're arsonists. We really need to stop saying that. We don't know we're responsible, which is good because if we were, we'd be totally screwed. Hi. Hey, hi. You girls seem nervous and guilty. We were just talking about the fire. Oh, that? You're not nervous? You were the one that lit the candle. Well, you don't know if that's what caused the fire. Why would I be nervous? When we were leaving the Gavisai house, I noticed how tacky the wallpaper was, which made me think this house blows, which reminded me to tell Ashley to blow out the candle. Who wants to hit the bookstore? You did not. Well, OK, wait, let's not keep pointing fingers at each other, says the woman whose idea it was to go over there in the first place. OK, you managed to remember that correctly. Fine, I will talk to Catherine and find out how the investigation's going. We'll find out that we're not to blame, and we can go on with our lives. So for now, can we just relax and stay calm? Maybe we should have been awake for a Wade to help us get over the loss. What about Jeremy and Ferret? They're gone too. And he. Because Wake for Wade's faster to say. And it's alliteration. Close. We should do something to memorialize the guys. Or we could just slaughter Evan Chambers and the Omega Guys. That would perk us up. In due time, Beef. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you think you're doing, Pledge? I was going to sit down. Yeah, but Wade's sat there. Oh, sorry. No, uh, uh, but... Wade's sat there too. I think Wade probably sat everywhere in the house. Then it looks like he's standing. We should choose a replacement for Wade as Pudge Educator. You know, maybe we don't need a Pudge Educator this year. Why don't we just initiate all of them? That way we don't have to worry about it. Jeremy loved initiation, especially the secret knock. Ma'am? I could be Pledge Educator. No offense, he's bitter, but you're no Wade. No, but I am me. I feel terrible. I wasn't there the night Wade and the guys got busted. Come on, give me a chance. All right, fine. Oh, by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you Pledge Educator. History of pornography. Yeah, hey, come on. I need this to graduate. It's the douchebags. I guess the Cold War with the KT house is over because of that prank. Now it's just open hostility. The boyfriend was involved, too. Yeah, maybe so, but he wasn't president. Listen. I didn't mean for those guys to get expelled, but I had to do something. and could control the house back. You get that, right? Yeah, I do. Just wish that it hadn't happened the way it did. But I guess the silver line.